Hello, I'm Sarah. So nice to meet you. Um, I just have to let people know I've seen the first few episodes of the series and I think it's phenomenal. I love your character so much. And I want to ask you because I feel right now in the very beginning, first few episodes, they're a little coded. They're a little, we're a little unsure where they're going with, with them. Can you share anything? Of course. I mean, I think I think throughout the season we will find Cynthia and the rest of the pigs trying to figure out who they are in the world and ride a line and, and their place within the girl gang as well, or within whatever gang uh, they, they try their, their, their best to be. Uh, what is your favorite part about portraying Cynthia? I do like, oh my gosh. I mean, there's so many things, of course. Like, you know, she's a mechanic. She's so badass. She's super much. But, I mean, I think truly the most special thing to me is being able to represent my, my queerness on, on camera and, and especially within the franchise of Greece. And especially with the time that this series still takes place in the 50s, and that's a huge and scary thing. So was that a big undertaking for you? Was that really important for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Greece is like such a beloved film. Like, to be able to be a part of this is like so, it's mind-blowing. I'm like, I'm still not over it. I pinch myself every single day. And you have an incredible voice, by the way. Like, so good. Do you have a favorite song or number that you get to perform? I mean, I mean, it's. It, I have, I have a few songs in this show, and like, I, I would say the first number that I'm looking forward to seeing is good. It's a good one. I like that one so much. Amazing. Now, do me a favor. Look right here, and tell everyone in like 30 seconds or less why everyone should watch Grease: Rise of the Pink Ladies. It's new. It's fun. It's a musical. It's a TV show. It's 10 hours long. 30, 30 whole new songs, and every, every character is so special and spectacular. Watch it. Paramount Plus, April 6th. Nailed it. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> Hello, we're here. We're here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. My shy guy over here. Um, talk to me a little bit about this series. What is it that it makes it so special? And what do you hope audiences get from it? Yeah, what makes the show so special is just the group that comes together. You know, it's a group that, especially in the 50s, you'd be like, really, this group? But it is, and it, it is what would happen. And, you know, it was just so special that these kids came together and, and wanted to do something more than just live in society's norms. You know, it was very, it was, it was amazing. What do you want audiences to take? Like, what's the message for everyone this time around? I think they just need to understand that be yourself. Be fully 100% yourself. Come at everything with confidence and, and love, you know, and, and just be, be who you are. You know, that's what this show is. Kids being who they are. I love that. Especially. <laughs> I love that so much. For you, who is your favorite Grease character from both movies? From both movies? Yeah, pick your favorite. I'd have to say Frenchie. Frenchie's just so amazing. I like the little voice she has. It's just so cool and it keeps you enthralled. Like, what is she going to say next? What's she doing? You know, I, yeah. I love it so much. I love that. Now give me, in 30 seconds or less, look at this one and tell everyone why they need to watch Grease, Rise of the Pink Ladies. You all should watch Grease, Rise of the Pink Ladies because it has not only the best choreography, not only the best uh, songs, but the best acting. It has the best scenes and it brings such clarity to everybody and, and makes everybody feel so loved and welcomed. And I love that. I love Dot. Uh, what did you love about playing her? I love how unfiltered she is. I feel like Dot is sort of an echo of what the audience is going to feel. She has complete over-the-top reactions to everything. She lives for the drama. And a lot of that was very much me coming through, just sitting there and watching it all unfold. I love that. I feel like too, she's like such a little oddball. She is an oddball. I, I think really the only reason why the socials put up with her is because her parents are incredibly wealthy. <laughs> yes, I just, I literally just said that. But I was telling my friend about you, I was like, it's because she's rich, otherwise she would not be popular. Exactly. The wealthier you are, the more quirky you can get away with being quirky. Exactly. It's the wealthy quirk scale. Exactly. The wealthy quirk scale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think it is about Grace that spans generations, that makes it so a show like this can exist now? I really do think any type of musical, the singing and the dancing, just brings you back to a place at home. It's escapism. I think we've all been inside for so long, and we're just longing to sing and dance and celebrate and be out and happy and proud. Uh, you are the mother of our lead girl. That's right. And I feel like she has, as I swoop that, a really large responsibility. 
and a generational teaching because I've seen the first few episodes and I find this storyline to be so relatable and so interesting because it's not one that we touch on much. I love that. And I find it's one of those that, you know, I think it's interesting. She's like, my girls don't speak Spanish, right? Latino. Oh, about me. Oh, yeah, I was like, girls. to you too. I was oh, like, you your that? girls as well? You're oh, Latina too? No, yeah. No. <laughs> girls don't speak Spanish. Yeah. yeah, that and it's like an erasing of a generation in a way of like culture. And I want to know what you thought about when you had to portray that in this series. Oh, I love this question. And you got it, you got it all, girl. You got it all down, love. Um, I would say, you know, having that balance and structure in life as the mother of Jane and Fran and wanting them to truly know that, you know, to respect our 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 family, our unit in this new environment and new place is also kind of battling the fact that she wants them to grow and is proud of how real they are, how true they are to themselves. So it's definitely a balance of being a mama bear, a mama lion, and protecting them, but also having an energy of, you need to assimilate. You need to make sure that you don't do anything rattle, which is crazy or weird in Spanish, that you don't do anything out of the box to where you're not where you're making a show of yourself. But you never know, those things may change and she may just want them to shine like the stars they are. Do you get to sing ever in the series? The holidays. <laughs> I love a secret. I love a yeah, secret. We love a good. We love a good secret. We shall see. Okay, I love that. What, I'll say. what do you think it is about Greece in general that makes it span generations that we're even able to have a series like this now in 2023? You know, having something like this in the 2020s, I would say something that truly describes it is listen. Making the film in the 70s, I'm sure, as a, I'm going to tell you filmmakers in the 70s how you did it. No, uh, no, I think taking the 50s and making that something with like a cool groove of a 70s vibe is something with the 2020s fusing the 50s and the 70s together and now making it, I wouldn't even say modernized, just real and grounded is is the coolest thing to see ever and be a part of. I love that. Now tell me in 30 seconds or less, look at this one right here yeah. and tell everyone why they need to watch Grease Rise of the Pink Ladies on Paramount Plus. Listen, y'all all need to go and watch Greece, Rise of the Pink Woo! Let's try that again. <laughs> hey, todo mi gente, everybody, you need to go see Greece, Rise of the Pink Ladies, April 6th, because there are so many things from the iconic movie, along with so many more things that you're going to relate to and just love. It's the heartwarming musical, it's the wardrobe, it's the dialogue, it's the sets. You're gonna love it. Well, let me roll this up. I did, but you know what? Well, we can do it better. together. Who cares? Well, Jason, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> He'll answer all the questions and I'll pick up his nose. <laughs> Perfect. We love that. This is great. So I love this too because we've got a T bird and we've got the good boy. Oh, you know, it's the difference. I don't know how we became friends in real life. Best friends. <laughs> we best you propose just the other way. So we did. I love it. And, and I said yes and he said yes. And we both said yes. Like, is that like a prom proposal? Is that how a bestie proposal goes? Yeah. So much yeah, we were at Disney World. And, and he asked me to be his best friend, and it was it was more special than my marriage will be, so like my future wife. But yeah. this, I, I, it was so me as well. There's nothing like it. Is I mean, this is one of the greatest moments of my life. The best you propose to me, if I'm honest, was truly the greatest moment. Of my life. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love your portrayal of Buddy because I think you've really like encapsulated the nice guy of the 50s and I use air quotes on purpose yeah, yeah. you know so do I <laughs> <laughs> so does he most of the time <laughs> facts talk to me a little bit about like kind of reverting because none of us are like that anymore you know yeah. so like trying to portray like your grandfather you know yeah I mean truly I looked at a lot of the actors in the 50s like Tab Hamilton and Tab Hunter was a big inspiration for me and I watched his talk shows and I watched his movies and his mannerisms and I knew he had his hair down all my like, buddies and he wore his sweaters and all that. So it was a little bit of a challenge but it's really fun. And you know, learning how to talk like that. And that was a lot of the writing that I know so like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Now tell me in 30 seconds or less why everyone needs to watch Grease, Rise of the Big Ladies. Original music, this is where Max and I fell in love. Um, come on. As friends, we fell in love as friends. Um, the dance choreography is amazing. Um, uh, the songs this, are so good. So good. He, 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 look, just, just look, just look. Just, just look. This is why you should watch Grease. 
Amazing. Congratulations, you two. Have a good night. <laughs> I love you. I saw you at Xanadu oh on Broadway. <laughs> And you have were my favorite character in that, and I love you so much in this series. I've seen the first five episodes, and I think they're phenomenal. Thank you. Um, were you ever in a production of Grease before? I can you believe it? Ian Fiddler was my first Fiddler, and this is my first Grease. Really? Yeah. Why do I find that I was shocking? Never Miss Lynch. That's shocking. I feel like this is a perfect role for you. <laughs> what do you love so much about Greece in general? Like, why do we have it even now in 2023? I think it was it, it was just like a teen running loose thing and, and establishing their own identity. And I think it was like a, a prototype for things like 21 Jump Street, Melrose Place, and all of the, all of the Smell Like Teen Angst shows. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for that. <laughs> Did you have a favorite number in this series? Mine. Yes. When do we get to see that? Which episode ep five. Everyone. Episode five. Get ready for your Live big number. for it. I love it. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Let's talk about Grease, Rise of the Pink Ladies. We're talking about that right now? We're talking about that right now. We're talking about it right Let's now. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's your favorite thing about being a part of the series? Watching all these amazing... <laughs> Actors and dancers. The, the amount of talent that is on this set is unheard of. I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's astounding. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, this is wild. It is. It is <laughs> it's wild. so good. I've wild. seen the first five episodes, yeah. so I know the hard work. So you work. know how crazy it is. Yes. Oh my God. I insane. do. Like, the hard work that went into it. You can see the love and expression through all of it. Like Blood, sweat, and tears. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, injuries, we dance through that. Oh, yeah. There's... Quite a few. Quite a few. <laughs> Did you have a favorite number? This is such a hard question. I know. There's so many. I don't want him to hear this because he knows I'm going to say it, but Jason Shaw, Jason Schmidt, his Take the Wheel is like amazing. He's an amazing singer. He's an amazing dancer, amazing performer, someone I look up to greatly as an artist, so he's great. Tell me what Grease means to you. Summer loving. That's what it means. <laughs> I love that. So does that mean you're a Danny? I like to think so. I, I like to think I got a bit of the Zuko in me, you know what I mean? <laughs> a, a boy can dream, can he? Absolutely. Tell me, in 30 seconds or less, why does everyone need to watch Grease, Rise of the Pink Ladies? Do you want to have fun watching a show? Do you want to sing and dance and get out of your couch and just feel it? Then you got to watch Grease, Rise of the Pink Ladies, because that's what it is.